Okay, it's a snowy Monday in beautiful February in Indianapolis. The snow's melting. Mike Landready's got some hot news, though. Mike, you unveiled your livery tonight. I mean, four Indy cars, two Mazdas, two Indy Lights cars. And I really think, you know, a lot of race fans write in and say, you know, it's really cool that Andretti stepped up and has all these programs. Think about when you started this deal 10 years ago. Did you envision becoming this conglomerate? No, I, I didn't know what to envision, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, it's just funny how things evolve. And, uh, you know, we're really excited the way our team has evolved. Uh, you know, I think every year we just make it bigger and better. And, uh, you know, that, that that's our goal each and every year. I think a lot of us would really like to see some other owners like your, your brethren in IndyCar step up and support series like you have. You know, when you get down to 10, 12 cars in Indy Lights, it's, do you ever do you have conversations with them like, hey, come on, boys, step up to the plate here? Well, I wish they would, to be honest with you. You know, I know it's it's not it's it's not an easy thing to do. It's a lot of work. Uh, you know, you don't get a lot out of it in terms of, you know, financial benefits and things like that. But I just feel like it's important for the foundation of our series. And uh, I really do wish more owners would, uh, would uh, come on board. Talk about Mike UFD and how that, you know, GoDaddy leaves, which is, you know, how are you going to fill that void? You want to keep Hinch. All, all that drama last summer about what was going to happen. How did the UFD deal come together? Well, uh, UFD came on, United Fiber and David came on, uh, you know, at the beginning of last year as an associate on Marco's car. And, and uh, you know, they're just really great friends, the guys from Live Band, uh, Chad and those guys, and, and then Bill Hines uh, with uh, UFD. We just, we have a great relationship. Uh, they loved what they got out of uh, the racing last year. And, uh, you know, when they came into it, they said they wanted to grow it. And, you know, they put their money where their mouth is. And, you know, here they are. They're, they're primary on one and uh, uh, primary associate on, on two of the other cars. So uh, they've been great to step up. They're just the fun guys to be around. And uh, I'm so excited. I hope we can really deliver, you know, the success that they deserve. The Pennsylvania Posse. What's right. UFD? Talk about what it does. What's that product? It's a uh, it's fiber and data. So they, they have da the data centers from uh, New York to uh, Washington D.C. and they have a fiber line that that they run, uh, which goes around the outside, not where all the other fibers. So it's quite a unique company, and and there's a lot of neat things that they're doing with it. So uh, you know, hopefully, we'll be able to help them. Here's what what I like about the way you're doing this. This is kind of like the old days in IndyCar. Maybe you see a guy in a midget sprint car. NASCAR is really they're the guys that have, an owner who starts out a guy in the nationwide series and brings him up. This Matthew Brabham kid, I know how smart you are. You got to get this kid's name on a piece of paper because he looks like he's going to be the. He he reminds me a lot of you when he was growing up. I mean, this kid is really, really on top of things. He's aggressive as hell, and he wins a lot of races. That's what it's all about, yeah. He just did a fantastic job for us. He's a great kid. Uh, you know, it's uh, funny. You know, it goes back to Jeff Brabham. You know, he was my first teammate when I got in IndyCars, so it's funny how things turn out, and here he is, his kid's driving for us, and uh, yeah, we have high hopes for him, and uh, also Zach. You know, Zach's coming on. You know, I think Zach is going to impress some people uh, this year in his Indy Light. He's been really quick in testing, and uh, so I think him and uh, Brabs are going to have a lot of fun, and hopefully they'll be battling for the win in uh, in each and every race. Well, the other thing I like, I, I just can't imagine him somebody like that getting away from you. I mean, this is why you give a guy a chance. I mean, there's not necessarily a lot of loyalty in racing, but this kid, I think, understands how the process works. He does, and, and he's great. You know, he's been great, and so is his dad. You know, Jeff, we've been friends. We've known each other for years, and uh, for sure, uh, Je this is where Jeff wants to be, and I'm hoping that, uh, you know, things go well this year, and uh, we'll be able to, you know, get him up to the next level. Now, I've known this guy since he was 18 years old, and he never had any gray hair. And now he's going to have kids in four different generations. His wife's <laughs> expecting twins. We wish him a lot of luck because he's going to need to win a lot of races to pay for all those kids. That's exactly right. Thanks, kid. Thank you. All right, Robin Miller for Racer. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Ryan, for being our shooter.